So when we first started talking about charts, I had mentioned that there are many different types of charts you can work with. Some charts are better suited for larger amounts of data, like a clustered column chart. Some charts are better suited for smaller amounts of data, perhaps a single column of data or a single row. An example of this would be a pie chart. Take a look. Let's look at how you create a pie chart within Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to go back to my quarter one sheet, back to where all my data is at. And there we go. Now, remember the first step is to select the data that you want to chart. So I'm going to grab the same range that I grabbed earlier. I'll grab from A3 down to D8. There we go. Now with that data selected, I'm going to create a pie chart. But remember, a pie chart is better suited for a single axis of data a single column, like a single month, or a single bill, a single row. Watch this. So I've got all that data selected. I'm going to go up to Insert. I'm going to go over to Charts, and this time I'm going to grab a pie chart. And I'll just do the default 2D flat chart here, pie chart. So I'll select that, and there's my chart. Let's just move it down below so I can get a little bit more visual here. So now what did it give me? Did it give me all the months with all the bills? What am I looking at? Remember a pie chart better suited for smaller amounts of data, single column, a single row. So what I really got here is a single row worth of data. I got rent for all three months. So I got a pretty equal pie, uh, pie chart there, a little peace sign going on there, right? Well, that's great, right? But maybe it's not rent that I wanted. Maybe I wanted gas, or maybe I didn't want a bill. Maybe I wanted to break this up by a month. I want to see uh, February's data with all of the bills. Well, how do I do that? We talked about changing the data source earlier. Remember that? Take a look. I'll select my chart, scroll back up. Remember the color-coded areas? Now let's say I only want a specific month. I only want February. So I'm just going to grab the blue bar. Just shrink that up. Let's grab this side as well. Let's shrink that up. And now I've just got February data. Oh, but I'm only looking at rent. That's weird. February rent. It's not much of a pie chart. Hmm. I need to make a change here. Again, with my chart selected, I'm going to go to the design tab and I have this feature called switch row column. Right now, I'm looking at this by row, a single row worth of data, rent for a single month. I'm going to change it from row to column, and I'll give this button a click. And now I've got February with all the bills. One button press, actually two. Change the data source, and then I've switched the row column. Now let's try the opposite. I've got just a single month, but maybe it's a bill that I want. I want to get credit cards. So first, I'm going to swap my data here. I want to get just credit cards. So I'm going to shrink this up, get just credit cards. But right now, that's just for February. So if I look down here at my chart, it's February again, but it's just credit cards. But you know what? I need to stretch that out so I get each of the months. Let's get January and March in the mix. Let's look at my chart again. Ooh, now I'm just picking up on January for credit cards. What do I need to do? I need to switch the row column because right now I'm looking at a single row, right? So I'm going to hop back up here or a single column. Excuse me. I'm looking at a single column, a single month. So I'll click this button, switch the row column. And now I'm looking at credit cards and I can see all three months there. So a pie chart very effective in describing your data, kind of more percentage-wise of this 100% pie. But remember, it's better suited for a single column or a single row of data. So you can manipulate the data, pick up on the specific month or specific bill, but remember, on the Design tab, you've got the Switch Row Column feature, so you can pick up on the appropriate data. Try this out. Build a pie chart, you decide. Do you want to do a specific month? Do you want to do a specific bill? Work with the switch row column. Get a feel for working for it with a pie chart and how to present that data. 
Try it out.